Alright folks and welcome back to Nefarious in November. Sorry for the delay on getting these last matches up, but you know how it is sometimes life gets in the way. Or just needing to actually get some sleep. C'est la vie. And we've got Cabal taking on over center rematch. Grudge match for the heavyweight title. Not so much a grudge match. A bit of a grudge match. Mostly just a rematch, and over center has already been busted open. We are not even a minute into this match, and we have blood, folks. Okay, definitely grudge match. Alright, so the story going into this match, the story, the backstory, the lead up. Over center took on Cabal for the heavyweight title. Cabal was the champ. One of the very first matches we had here for the YouTube show. The big triple match show that we had uh, one of the f very first videos we put up and over center took the title off of Cabal now Cabal seemed to badly underperform in that match and turned out that 
he had actually been kind of being held down by some nagging injuries, some, uh, you know, just being uh, kind of exhausted is the, you know, a, a fighting champ. He needed some time to recuperate a little bit, as we all do from time to time. And that's the story that has been unofficially, officially told. It's the official story that's been unofficially told, put it that way. Nobody's 100% sure outside of the answer, his uh, cabal's group, just what actually was going on there. But that is their unofficial official version of events, and I have no reason to question it, so that's what happened, I guess. So, just after that, Overcenter took on another member of The Answer named Alfred Adams and lost the title. Ooh, big running power slam there. They believe that was an Oklahoma stampede. Kind of an old school power slam move. And uh, Alfred Adams surprised everyone by taking the title off of Over Center. And of course, they had a rematch, and Over Center took the title back. Cabal goes for a slingshot uh, shoulder tackle, but is uh, pushed out of the way. Block the move. So now, here at Nefarious in November, Cabal is actually getting his rematch. He's opted to take his rematch for the big show. Over center has the title back from Alfred Adams. Short-lived as that was. Cabal. Looks like more of a taunt than anything. Big backdrop. So... Looks like the Alfred Adams episode was a bit of a blip on the way to this match, but you never know. That was so unexpected that it's possible that that could have really fired over center up or possibly taken a bit of steam out of his sails because coming out of that Cabal match with Cabal winning the title, he had to have been on top of the world, especially as easily as Cabal went down in that match. Very unexpected. But then for him to lose to Alfred Adams, who is absolutely no slouch. He's one hell of a competitor, but nobody expected Overcenter to lose the title. But he did. But then he won it back on the first rematch. So, like I said, not quite sure how this is going to play out, folks. We've got Cabal coming back after getting some rest in and recuperation, some R&R &R in, so he's looking on top form. And then we've got uh, Overcenter in there, also looking to be in good condition. He's busted open, but that hasn't slowed him down so far. They've been trading blows, trading slams moves on each other, a little bit of submission wrestling there, but broken up immediately. And I noticed, uh, you may have noticed in the, uh, opening intro video package for Cabal, that that's the same outfit that he was wearing when he beat, uh, over center to win the title for the very first time, so he might be playing a bit on good luck here. That, uh, bright, bright green top and, uh, red and green pants, kind of the the AZW colors are green, red, and black. So he might be playing to good luck here a little bit. Sporting people, athletes tend to be kind of superstitious, so he might be hoping that since that was the outfit he was wearing the first time he beat Cabal, and that was the, the match that that brief clip in the in, in uh, Cabal's intro package, his video, that was when he first won the title from Over Center, who was the champ at the time. Over Center has been a mainstay of our heavyweight title scene here since the title was instated. Cabal came in a little bit later, but he's also been one of the top guys in the promotion for the heavyweight division just running over center over there with a big clothesline. Got a pump handle. Big pump handle slam. Going up. 
and he's going. I'm not sure what the point of this move is. Not sure if he was expecting to take over center by surprise. Kind of suspecting that that won't be making an appearance after this match. Might have been just trying something new. I don't think I've seen him try that before. Not a very effective move. He does all that taunting and then never seems to do much anything afterwards. There's another big head butt. I'm going to go for a big... Uh, Bouncy slam there in the corner. Nails over center pretty hard. Over center fighting back now. This Cabal. Shin breaker. Cabal gets him immediately. Cabal is really fired up here, folks. And just a clubbing blow to the back. Elbow to the head. Over center taking a Cabal down. Rib breaker. Cabal has been focusing a lot on the torso. That is his MO. He will focus on that torso to just set him up for the Cabal, which is his finisher. Over center signaling for something there. And he's getting him up. It's like he might be getting. That was his finisher there, folks. That was. The uh, burial rites, I believe, is what he calls it. Uh, oh, oh shit, he is doing it twice. He wants to put Cabal down. That is two. But a rope break? Oh, a rope break. Let me check my notes here. I have a horrible memory for the names of moves. So, lift up, suplex. There was a, a rolling slam just dropping his weight down on top of over center. Yeah, burial rights is over center's move. The Cabal's move I remember because it's such an easy to remember name. Cabal. Burial rights. This point, it look kinda looks like over center has this one in the bag. I'm not sure what Cabal can do here. Up with a suplex. Hold of him. Another backbreaker. That uh, double underhook into a backbreaker. Big, big side slam. Got one, a pin. One, two, two three. Pin three. Is yet another surprising finish, folks. Um, it looks like we might have some controversies coming out of this uh, show. Because it looks like fortunes have been reversed. Last time it was Cabal going down a lot easier than everyone expected. This time, over center drops easier than everyone expected. I was expecting at least another five, six, maybe ten minutes on this bout, folks. And I, you know, I was I was thinking that these two were just kind of getting warmed up at this point, but then over center hit. Two of his finishers, the Burial Rights Power Bomb, he hit two in a row, but only, you know, he did, wasn't able to capitalize because he did the pin directly into the ropes, and that was bro it was broke it up. That gave Cabal a chance to regain momentum in his favor, and he took advantage and won, folks. I mean, he didn't even have to use his finisher; he just got him on that uh, big slam. And of course, after all those backbreakers, rib breakers, all that targeting of the torso, as I said, that's Cabal's M.O., is to target the torso to prep him for the big power bomb, the spinning, spinning set-out power bomb that he likes to use, the Cabal, he calls it. Uh, but he, he got the one, two, three there, folks. I guess that's all there is to it. So we have one more match for you folks. It's the three-way dance to crown the first women's champion of AZW, so I'll see you there.